Hamtech M0 FXB. Welcome to my channel. So we have our GPS module, the Haltech version 3 Meshtastic device. And this is the board that, that is needed here to attach our GPS module to the Haltech. So we're going to solder. I've already just put the pins in there. Um, this to the board. And we, we need to solder a couple of pins as well to the Heltec version 3. See those two pins there? It's ground and live. And on here, it's not just ground and live, it's also receive and transmit of the GPS information going back and forth between the boards. And there is configuration for this within the Meshtastic app software. So the idea is to solder the pins on, then I can just use wires and I can disconnect easily. I've got a whole box of these like GPIO pin wires, so we'll configure it and then we'll show you we'll show you it completely connected, how to connect it, and then we'll show you how to select the correct settings in your in your Meshtastic app to enable it to use the GPS. In the background you've got the LilyGo T beam. Now this includes GPS, so we don't need to do that. It also includes a rechargeable battery, so that might be another option you might think about um, buying a unit that's got everything included. The Heltec, they are lower priced, they are a lower price to buy, but you don't get all the included items. But you can get them for £25, that's more like 45 But by the time you bought the module, I suppose, and put the time in, yeah, you're probably better off with the other unit. But this is still fun, and it does come with a screen as well. You know, there is a screen there. So I'm going to solder this up. Everything's getting nice and hot. We've got some flux on the pins. And uh, and then let's move forward. And my trick to soldering is always put some flux on what you're going to solder. And always have a blob of hot solder on your tip ready to join everything together. Then it just works. Okay, and that's the first sort of twin pin on there that's going to power everything. And it is marked on the board if you look close. It says ground and, three, and volt 3. Okay, that's our four pins on there now. That's what it looks like. So we should be ready just to start connecting wires. First thing I always do is unplug the soldering iron as soon as I stop soldering. Uh, that's the you know safety thing. Let's try and configure some of these these connections. Okay, we are getting there. We've got four pins soldered here. We've got the two pins for the live and the earth. Also, we've got the receive and so RX TX soldered to pin number 48, 47. Now I did take those four screws out and look, uh, just to pull the screen away a bit because I was worried about the heat from the soldering iron and the solder. Uh, so I had to be quick. I didn't leave the heat on there for very long. And I did decide in that case to solder straight to the the sort of hole, let's call it. Because I thought if I put pins in, it's going to poke through. And it's, the screen is right close. The screen's all cable. So I, that's the way I've done that. So now let's put the wires together and, and see what starts happening. Right, well, I think we've got everything connected now. So look, the GPS antenna clips on here. On the actual board, if you look there to the left, it's marked. We zoom in. Voltage, receive, transmit, and ground. So red is voltage, receive is yellow, and transmit is, or TX is green. And on the end, we've got ground, which is the, the black cable. So your red and your black are going to the board here. The Heltec board, which is, I soldered those two pins on. And the one to remember is that the cable on the outside, you know, near the outside, is your ground. And then the next one, the next pin is your 3 volt, three volt live. So in theory, we're all connected. So on the back of this board, and it's probably the riskiest part, is on pin 48 and 47, you've soldered... RX TX basically and the green I believe is the TX yellow is RX 
You can always invert them if we have to. So everything's connected. Now I could, if I was sensible, I'd already have a battery for this because you just plug power into there, look. Uh, but I haven't, so for now I'm just gonna attach a USB cable. So you can actually get cases and put all this into a case. I know it looks a mess, but you can shorten the wires, neaten it or add your battery and then put it all into one case. There are cases out there that do that. For me, it just makes sense to just buy one that's got everything, yeah? Uh, but okay, it's fine because a lot of people have got these Heltec version 3s. So let's fire it up and see if it starts smoking. Um, so no smoking yet. Which is good news it's all started working now there's no indications on this board of I can't see LED lights or anything so we literally what we're gonna have to do is go with the next part of the video will be showing you just the how to configure and turn on using this GPS module uh, using the app which I'll show you now and and then I do actually actually have a GPS booster in my shack uh, so I'll put that very near to this device here and see if we start picking up GPS. So this is my GPS booster, they don't cost much. And you connect your GPS antenna to it and it just boosts the signal. And it has its own, you know, USB power supply, you know, to boost the signal. M0FXB Hamtech, just a quick one here on my R, well it's not actually the R Finder model, this is an IJV one that's been converted. Inside it's got one of these batteries, look, okay, well two, two of them, 18, is it 1850, 1860 the model? And then it's got a power, there goes my phone, better answer that, it's Don from Kenwood. And it runs this hotspot, bye for now, 7-3.